So Mateusz has this beautiful 560 SEL and also that one right there, which is 500 SEC. Sorry, I said SEL, I meant SEC. It's a coupe, beautiful coupe. So we're gonna be working on, on that one right there. That one's a 500 SEC. We have to replace the water pump on it today because it's leaking a lot. But sweet little car, same as this one. I'm glad he has these amazing cars. No, let's take it off. Let's take it off. Let's uh, loosen it. Yeah. Mmm, this thing is cool. Black interior. I love that. Amazing machine. <laughs> Classic bands. 560 SEC. How about that? Amazing machine. So we're trying to park that car somewhere there so we can work on it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because the battery is dead. Yeah. When did you have it running last time? Like a month ago? What an amazing machine, needs a lot of love, but what a great, amazing car. I love the Palomino, just need some re-dye, that would be awesome actually. All right guys, we'll be working on this amazing car, replacing the water pump here on this car. It's a 500 SEC, beautiful, amazing machine. It needs quite a bit of love, so we're gonna be doing that today. The owner bought parts and everything, so I'm super excited. Yes, I'm outside, I'm working on the street, but it's gonna be a great time. This one too, still working. Nice, nice. Oh, I actually have a similar one right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. Over here, though, this one I have. Nice. Crazy. Yeah, you definitely need the heater in the winter, you know, yeah. when it's raining. Man, it was more good. After yeah. a couple days, yeah. crazy. Well, that's awesome. Well, let's get this water pump done. Make it nice. So you see this little hose right there? We're gonna have to replace that little hose. It's one of these that I bought. So we're just gonna have to cut from this mm -hmm. part. Nice. Okay. You know, you know what, how this hose is for? For what? For PCV piping, whatever. Or or sandblasting. Sandblasting. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's like there you go. I'm gonna remove this fan right now with the fan shroud together. So there's no coolant in the system because it all leaked out. So we're just gonna start removing all this. There you go, fan clutch. They used to make amazing stuff back then. Everything is metal and made like heavy duty stuff. That's crazy. I love it. Look at that. Dono's got all these amazing brand new parts for this car. That's awesome. Yay! This car is so lucky. I bet you this car is actually jealous of that 560 SEC right there. The ATF on the back, because they, 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 what they have it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Bosch brakes are still nice. I like them. So no, we're gonna I, be replacing this pump. The one. The other one. Okay, so we're removing the thermostat housing right here, the top portion. I'll be cleaning it and uh, also painting it with high heat silver paint to make it nice. And what I'm noticing so far is just a bunch of corrosion here. That's what was causing the leak, most likely. And right here, there's a bunch of corrosion buildup. All right, so we're gonna take this little hose out 
It's a good of a play, uh, idea to replace it, and a lot of people just leave them alone and never change this hose. It's a good idea to do it. It's this little one that goes from the reservoir to the uh, expansion, or uh, from the reservoir to the radiator right here. This is the original one. We have new one right here. Amazing. Look at that, corroded, everything. Well, it's late at night and this is how far we got. This is pretty crazy. I actually had to remove the distributor as well because there was one bolt that I couldn't get to. Right there, I already took it out. But the water pump is still on, as you can see. That is because we have to remove the harmonic balancer because that bolt on the bottom is just, there's no clearance for it to come out because of the balancer. Pretty crazy, and because if, if that bolt wasn't that long, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could just get away with, you know, without you know, having to deal with that. But because of that long bolt, you have to take the whole thing out, the, along with the harmonic balancer. Really, really sucks. But we've been cleaning a bunch of stuff here and prepping new parts for the installation okay so we got the harmonic balancer off looks like this would be nice to paint it too but finally we got this water pump out out of this crazy car right over here look at that what a job that was what a job congratulations guys amazing oh, well, this is what we're looking at <laughs> So it would be a good idea to replace this crank seal, I don't know yet. I just want to put this car back together ASAP. Because I want this car to make it to the car meet on Sunday. So we'll see, but I want to... If you, if you make a cool on today, you can take it, like I told yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't want to, like, make it crank right now. Okay, go ahead. Turn. <laughs> It's loose. I gotta. I had to put the harmonic balancer back on, tighten it, and then we're just basically holding it like this from turning. As, you know, I can't do this job without replacing the front crank seal. That's gonna be a big sin. Something is, what? Something is not possible, but like you say, it's possible. Everything is possible. It's really late, but um, here's the progress. I got all the water pump mating surface all cleaned up and cleaned up around it a little bit here and there, you know. And then uh, I have this harmonic balancer that and this this pulley, basically the flange that I need to remove. But the only way to remove it is just to, you know, I need to get a puller, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go to the store. There's AutoZone that works. It's actually open 24 hours. So I'm gonna go there, take it off with the puller, and then I'm gonna replace this seal right there there's a seal a brand new seal that we got yeah it's a pain in the ass to do all this job but you know we're so far we're like basically this far you know i have to get this done and uh, other than that it's an amazing machine it's going to be back on the road very soon and hoping to get this car to the meet this sunday so we have a couple of days left so this is a new water pump that we actually uh, painted with high heat silver paint i really recommend doing that because it's still gonna corrode so you want to actually go ahead and paint it nicely like we did so that's nice and then we have a brand new gasket right here as well so this is you got to lift the ignition distributor just to get that bolt crazy. in and out it's crazy those and those yeah. too much man Are you sure it Okay, so we got the puller right there attached and removing this uh, crankshaft flange so we can replace the seal. Just like that.
crazy. But this is the size over here. Let me clean it. Yeah. So we got this out right there. Yeah. I'm gonna install a new crankshaft seal now. Hopefully this is the right one. We're still trying to figure it out. Oh, you know. Alright, so, so we got this crankshift seal. You call me hours and call, but you can't just give me like hours. So slow. Slowly but surely. Maybe, maybe. Oh, she is running! the one that we changed the water pump on that was a crazy crazy water pump on this car she still needs a lot of work here and there but she's running it's running I'm not touching the gas There she is guys, running. Amazing, not overheating. Uh, needs needs still needs the engine the engine still needs quite a bit of love, but she's doing well. I mean, uh, this this was a really big job, you know, with the water pump. It was a crazy big job. But it's done. Next thing is gonna be oilers that the owners are gonna start taking care of it because I will be actually going back to Washington very soon so um, next time I'll do it or he's gonna start doing it all himself